certainly interested <coughs> in um, the question that we had from the gentleman in back, and, it, and um, I was reading it. I'll just give you the first uh, paragraph of House Joint Resolution NN, and it says, the Joint Resolution proposing an amendment to the state constitution of 1963 by adding section 27 to Article 1 to declare the fundamental right of parents and legal guardians to direct the care, upbringing, and education of their children. You think, why would we need a resolution saying something like that? You know, it seems like it's kind of a no-brainer. We know that um, children need parents. Parents, um, plural. Um, again, I am a former enforcement officer for 37th Circuit Family Court, and um, I had the Child Support and Custody Division. And I came to the job uh, fresh out of college, um, well qualified, and I hope to really make a difference in the <coughs> families of um, Michigan, um, ch children of uh, divorce and separation, to uh, impact their lives in a positive way. Um, however, early on I realized that um, it was all about money. And it wasn't about um, any efforts toward conciliation or none of these things were allowed um, in the family justice system. We were out to get the federal and state tax dollars um, that were allotted for each case enforcement. Um, our director would say regularly, we aren't the friend of the family, we're the friend of the court. And so we stumbled over ourselves trying to get more Title IV-D and divorce cases on our records and increase the child support orders because the federal government granted these generous amounts um, for each case we enforced. And in the years I worked in the system, I, I witnessed um, regular deception to clients that was mandated by office policy. I saw gender bias and discrimination against families of divorce and separation. I saw records disposed of. I saw office policies and rules change from week to week for the profit of the agency, for convenience. I saw hundreds of pleas for parenting time or visitation enforcement get buried because there's no money in enforcing custody or visitation issues. Um, increasing the child support money that came into our offices was the goal for each of us, and we were secretly rated according to how much money we brought in through asset seizures, um, income garnishment, scheduling court hearings, and giving out warrants. We actually wrote the orders ourselves, and then we enforced them, and the judge merely uh, rubber stamped them. Um, he was too busy to actually um, become personally involved in, in what was going on. He knew that uh, we had a little bit more um, input, um, contact with the parents. Uh, although um, my peers and I were, um, you know, most, most, I was a single mom, which was an exception to the rule, but there were a lot of, um, most of the uh, enforcement and custody um, officers were unmarried, certainly um, never divorced or separated, none had children. Um, my director proudly told me that the Child Support Enforcement Agency was the darling of the circuit court, in that we made money for the judge in the court, unlike the sheriff's department and so many other county agencies that cost the county money. Um, we, uh, th this, we weren't an exception either, because uh, we went from county to county different times, um, helping others. Uh, Kent County was one of them that asked for our input to help maximize their efforts toward increased increase collection because uh, we were so successful. Um, we're not, we weren't just told to withhold information, forms, policies, laws, and statutes from our clients with questions, but we were forbidden from helping them obtain any legal relief from unfair situations beyond their control. We were instructed to quickly help those who were demanding an increase in their child support, but um, we were um, threatened with losing our jobs if we should um, breathe a word of encouragement to an injured or unemployed payer to petition for a reduction in any kind of any kind. And uh, we were told that we would be uh, convicted of practicing law without a license. So for the years that I worked in the system, I put my job on the line whenever I helped any of the parties in trouble. Uh, we were not to get personally involved in the best interests of the children or parents. And. Um, any of those of us who did were derisively accused of wasting our time being social workers. Um, Child Protective Services, Family Independence Agencies, they're, they're all the same way. No one wants to improve services or hear about abuses within the system because every worker in these huge bureaucracy corporations are trying to keep his or her job by covering up any errors or problems. And uh, everyone um, is is after everyone else or on their back if, if you should um, go out of the status quo. There's a kind of a, a good old boy mentality in, in any one of these um, agencies. 
that um, you just can't counter easily. Um, 